Hello there, my name is Dave Allen and today we're looking at Craft, which is a super no tech application which has just got better. In this version of Craft we can now add tables. A lot of people have been asking for this and I imagine that I'm going to be fairly happy with the addition of tables in the application. Let's have a look and see how we can add tables to a document in Craft. One way to add a table is to use the forward slash followed by the word table. So let's do that. And only have to add the two first letters of the word and I start getting some options in there. So if I want one three by three, I can click on that or four by four. I just press enter now and I've got my four by four table in there. Cool or what? Another way to add a table is to go over to this side over here, go to the plus symbol here and I can drag and drop a table in there. Drag and drop that in there. Gives us a standard three by three to get started with. Another way to add a table using the forward slash is to put the forward slash in, start by putting in a number and then a 4x, or I can do a forward slash and start putting the numbers in, say so I want something 5x5. Five five. You only get 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6 and so on. You don't get a chance to do a 3x5 or whatever else. I think it's probably better that you choose the number of columns you need and then work from there because you can add rows easy as you go. OK, so once you've got your table in there, there's a few things you can do with it. If you go on this one here, you've got some extra facilities. You can get into this menu here and add things to your table, going through Edit Table. So you can insert columns or move columns to the left or to the right, no problem. If you go to the left-hand side here, you get this one here where you can get the same menu up. And if you go to the bottom one of the table, this one here, you can insert a row. If you go to the right hand side, you can insert a whole column. That's kind of cool. You can also get to that menu by doing a right click on the cell or doing a two finger tap on the magic trackpad. And then you can go to the style and style this up if you want to. So you've got choices here to do an alternating row color. Uh, just fill one cell with a fill color or you can change the text color. Obviously you've got the things in there for doing the justification and also bold italics strike through and this one they have Witten code in there so and then there's the uh, default font or the system mono serif or the round fonts. Not much choice there but at least you've got some choice. Okay so what can we do with these menus in this one here edit table so we get to edit table and I like the way that we've got these keyboard shortcuts in here so I can do things like moving a row up so that's kind of cool. And obviously you can move it down again and you've got the uh, option command and down arrow to be able to do the same. Oh yeah, we've got this little um, set of three dots here to the right of a cell and brings up that same little menu there as well. So we can do things like clear the cell contents, we can clear cell style, we can just reset the column size. So you've made changes to the, the size of the columns, maybe you've done that to it. And then you can go in here and you can reset column size. Let's go back into this again and edit the table. We can delete rows or we can go back into this one here, do a right click on it and do edit the style and we put in our alternating row colour for instance. Nice few different colours that we can choose from. Choose a grey in there, it's uh, fairly easy. Or if we want to select the whole of this row, let's select the whole of this row here and then we can do a style on it and we can change the cell fill colour and we can put that into something uh, spiffy like this purple for instance. I've got one row selected there but if I want to select all of it I'll go down to the bottom right hand corner there, hold down the shift key and I've got all of it selected now. You have all your forward slash commands in there as well if you want to use any of those. So do forward slash and then we can go down through here and change any of those things there. Something else you might want to do this here with the hyperlinking is to add content. So now we have a new craft page hyperlink to from the craft table. Let's go back to our table again. And we see we've got a link there through to the page. So I'll click that, it'll take us through to the page that we want. If I want to add another column to it, I can add another column to it from there as well. So this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky, and we've been having a look at the new thing in craft, which is adding tables and what we can do with it. And it's pretty good and easy to work with and I think you'll like it. If you've got something from this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button as well. And if you want to get notifications click on the bell too. So lots of things to click on there but just go and do it anyway. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.